que je me suis mis les ouvrants. so peaceful out here. I don't even want to leave. This area is just gorgeous. This heart palpitation is stopped though. Come on, heart, you can do it. I need you to be strong. I am strong. Nature takes care of me. Goodness, this is a neat little haven over here. Wow. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I swear, I'm like deeply meditating right now. It's so quiet. There's nobody around here. Nobody's bothering me. Very little car noises. I swear I'm in deep meditation. I love it. It's like when I'm out here walking among the trees and whatnot, sometimes I play a certain song get me in that zone. And I'm really in the zone. I'm really meditating on the history of this place. You know, it's like I feel the trees trying to talk to me. I feel nature trying to speak to me and tell me something. And that's what I'm meditating on, you know? I love just having an epiphany one day. Well, I had one recently, but um, I would love to have that happen more often. To where I realize something about my life or nature just helps me figure out something. Something really going on in my life. That I need help on. If I meditate long enough, maybe, maybe nature will give me the answer. Because nature knows all. I like meditating on the history of certain areas. You know, like this complex. What was this complex before they put all these apartments here? What kind of forest was here? What kind of animals lived here, you know? I mean, weird. That's just how I think. You know, what kind of animals lived here? What were all the species that lived here? What kind of bugs? You know, how did they live? What was life like? You know? There's this gorgeous lake over here. Another lake. I'm wondering how that lake used to look. How many animals used to live in that lake? You know, before civilization came through. You know, I, I really just wonder. I wonder. I wonder. <laughs> I wonder how big trees used to be in the past. You know, trees are so small now. They're not supposed to be this small. I just... I think a lot about these things that other people don't really think about on the daily, if at all. You know, that's just me. I have a wonderful soul and I'm proud of it. I know the reason why I can't have any, I don't have any like real friends is because people don't understand me and they won't. That's why I've been manifesting real friends. I've been writing that on my Twitter and sometimes writing it elsewhere, saying it out loud, manifesting that I want and deserve real female friends. Friends that I can actually see and hang out with and friends that understand me. You know, I need somebody that's as deep into nature as I am. I need somebody who can relate to me in a lot of ways. I need somebody who will understand me and not mock me. I need somebody who will hang with me forever. And we just do women stuff, you know? I have been saying that and manifesting that every day. I think today I'm on day 18. No, wait. Yesterday was 18. I think today is day 19, I think. Where I said I want and deserve genuine female friends. And I know I do. Gone are the days where I used to think that I didn't deserve any friends. The days are gone, y'all. I do deserve it. And I'm not going to stop until I get it. So I'm out here in nature manifesting what I want. Because that's what you got to do. People might be looking out their apartments right now. Looking at me like I'm crazy. Like, what the hell? She over there filming. Don't worry about it. I don't give a damn. <laughs> mind your business and I'm my mind. I don't care. Um, I'm over here doing some real, what they call shadow work, I guess. <laughs> But I'm really deeply meditating on what I want. This is what we all should be doing on the daily. This is what everybody should be doing. And I'm getting into the zone of doing it. Because I want some things in my life. And I'm manifesting them right now. Gotta have them. I want better things in my life. I want better things for my husband. For my kids. I just want us all to be happy. For once. You know, get out of certain situations that we've been stuck in. Dealing with toxic people, you know, I want to get out of this area, all of that. The only good thing about this area is that I can come to this complex over here, and this complex is just great with nature. There's so much nature, like there's so much trees and wooded areas where you can walk around and just be who you want to be, you know. 
here in nature is you can just be who you want to be out here. <laughs> and <clears throat> especially during your day when everybody's at work and stuff, you know, I don't want to bother you. It's the best thing about being in this area where I'm at, but we won't live in this complex, so I have to walk a good ways to get over here. But hey, I don't really mind it. The exercise is great. And I already worked out this morning. So this is my second workout of the day, y'all. <laughs> this is my second workout. <sighs> so, I am not ashamed. I am not sad. You know, it'll help me lose weight faster. That's what I want anyway. But yeah, I'm just out here manifesting what I want because that's what I need and that's what I deserve. And I really feel nature speaking to me when I'm out here meditating. And that's how you're supposed to feel, you know? And I don't see anything wrong with that. That's what's supposed to be happening in everyone's life. <clears throat> so yeah. Well, I'm going to go now and continue my walk. I'll be walking back home pretty soon. I've been out here a good minute. I hope you guys are having as great of a day as I am. Go out and get your exercise. Get your fresh air. Do not miss out on fresh air. It is healthy. It is imperative. Do it. Thank you for watching.